the 11th day of Friday Productions. Not so bright colors. James had been in a bad mood lately. We're stuck in the little western yard and something trucks for the extension. That would go, go to the grid. It would go to the Go oh, down to Norimbi. As the two branch lines would meet at Harwick. James hated doing this. He hated the job. He hated everything about it. Oliver especially was getting tired as it as he was mostly in the yards. Huh! Why should I do this? I'm a splendid red engine. I'm supposed to be pulling coaches, not hunting trucks. Well, it's what you're assigned to do, James. Yeah, at least you're as busy as a bee. That is all good. Yeah, but he wouldn't tell James. That night, he went to the sheds. Have a nice breakfast. Next morning when he woke up, his driver and fireman were laughing hysterically. What's the matter? Here, we'll show you in a mirror. And when James looked at it, he was horrified. That day he came to the yard worse than ever. From dirty sightings, yet! Oliver found it quite funny, however. Oh, you were the one who did this, aren't you? At least I'll teach you sense. But James didn't fans here. Soon the work was finished for him and another engine would do it. But James still was wearing the pink. When he came into the yard, he was met by Gordon, who laughed his step like, oh, oh, oh. When he finally stopped, he made it the rudest remark. You know, you aren't as busy as a bee, but do you know what you are? As grumpy as you. James snorted off. He bumped them hard. They didn't like that. At all. Soon he rounded a bend and reached a switch. It was diverted into the harbor. James was shocked as he came forward and crashed down on the bulstrode. He lay on top of the barge, unamused. He soon hauled out of the waters. When he went to the works, he got his new coat back. But he learned the lesson, and that was the most important thing of all.